Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over six different tools that you could use right now. If you do help desk, IT support, tech support that are absolutely free. But the, 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 I guess the catch is that your job has to allow it. If your job doesn't allow it, don't use it. But it has saved me in so many scenarios. You have no idea. So I'm going to go over them today. Obviously, if you do my channel, you know what to do. Let me share my screen with you, okay? So screen one. The first one is Virus Total. So anyone that's brand new to my channel, I, I love using, I like mean, I'm a fan of certain tools that work, that don't work. <laughs> the ones that don't work, I don't recommend those. But this one allows you to scan a file just to make sure that it doesn't have a virus on it. So how do you do that? So basically, you're, you go to virustotal.com, and I'm going to here it redirects you basically you click choose a file and i have a bunch of files here right so what you do is i'm gonna click on this one and open and then confirm upload right then what it does is it checks to see if that file has a virus in it using like some of the antivirus applications like Kaprisky, um bit defender and a few other ones and this is absolutely free so basically what it does is it just analyzes the whole the whole file i'm not sure if your job's gonna allow it but some companies some companies do allow it and, and like in my job and two of my jobs we use this for free and it works so basically it allows you to scan the file you look at it and it gives you more details about it, it tells you more stuff about it um there's like comments here because maybe someone has seen this file in the past so basically, that's that's pretty much what it is. So then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna go back, and this URL. So like, if you have a URL that you think it's like kind of weird or shady, or suspicious, right? And you're like, man, I don't know about this website. This website seems a little off to me. So you go to YouTube.com, right? And then you press Enter, and it gives you like information about YouTube.com. So it's actually a real website. So here it says suspicious, right? I don't know why it says that, but it's okay. Everywhere else it says it's okay to use. So I don't have to worry about it. That's that's the other one. And then the last one is search. So here you could actually put it an IP address of something and it'll tell you if that IP address is legit or not. So this is this is a um a free web browser alternative you could use to check for viruses, malware vulnerabilities, security vulnerabilities, stuff like that. If you if your job allows it, I recommend you, you you give it a try and let me know how that goes for you. You you may you may have something that comes in like, and your company is using a uh, uh, Barracuda or they're using uh, Counter Strike. Um, they're probably using Avast or they're probably using Silence or I don't know like some sort of antivirus application or maybe they use malware bytes. I don't know. You want to maybe try this if your job allows you to use it. All right. The next one is talointelligence.com it's a uh, from cisco basically you have the ability to download an application it's here they have snort it has demi logger they have um mo flow uh mo flow uh claim ev pre uh first cisco smart install scanner uh decept and a few other ones this is a, a bunch of bunch of other ones but this one is another good one i I used this before in the past. This is actually someone showed me this too. Uh, uh, Aaron showed me this, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know you. I didn't know this was free. So you go and you click on it, right? Hit no, learn more. It actually prompts you like to the website that you can go to to download it, and it tells you a little bit more about what it does. So this is another one that I recommend you try playing around with if you have access to download it and use it. Uh, the next one is my favorite one. And your job may not allow it, by the way. My job, they did allow it, but some places they, they don't allow it. They think, they think it's a virus when it's not. The next one is Revo Uninstaller. So basically what this does is it allows you to uninstall an app on the C drive on the registry level. So how do you use it? So basically you hit free downloads. Uh, you hit free download. You let it download, right? It's downloading right now. Uh, you hit yes, you let it install, right? You hit okay. You accept the terms of agreement, install, install, next, 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 right? Now, do you want to launch it? Yes. And what does it do? So basically what it does is it allows you to uninstall an app 
if it's extremely stubborn to remove. So you have an app that's like that doesn't want to move for the deal life of you. Like, I don't know, like Office 365. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, Adobe Creative Cloud. <laughs> no one likes that one. Uh, and a few other ones, right? So if, you, if you're like, man, you try everything and it does not want to uninstall, you get like a bunch of error messages. You may want to try to use uninstall, like Revo uninstall. But that's, that's what I use usually in my job and they allow it. So you right click right here, right? So I want to uninstall Adobe. I hit uninstall. It says, do you want to make a restore point? No, I'm not. I'm going to hit continue. And when you do that, it wants to uninstall. It wants to do the, the uninstaller from control panel, which is this one. That's why this is coming up, right? So instead, you hit cancel. You hit cancel, yes. Hit finish. And you hit moderate. You can hit advanced if you want, but just leave it at moderate. You hit scan. So now it scans that application, right? Just give it a second. And it's gonna make you, it's gonna make you or give you the option to down to I said download to delete the, the registry level of the file. See, all this stuff is the registry level of it. So what you do is you select all and you hit delete and you hit yes. And when you do that, it actually deletes Adobe, right? It's completely gone now. But it's still on the C drive. So as I ask you, do you want to delete the C drive as well? Is it leftovers? Yes, delete all, delete, yes. And it should delete everything on the C drive. And that's it. Now it's completely gone. So if you go to control panel, or if you type Adobe, it's not even there anymore. It's completely gone now. It's not there anymore. So this is an app that I use uh, to, to remove applications that are very, very stubborn. This is one of, this is like something that has helped me and has saved me in the past several times. So this is something that's free. I recommend you, you use it. I'm gonna uninstall it. When you uninstall it, it takes you to the website. Uh, you hit yes, and you're good to go, and you're done. That's it. So that's something that I recommend you give it a go. The next one is uh, MX Toolbox. So MX Toolbox allows you to do MX lookup, DNS lookup, DNS check, and a bunch of other stuff on, on MX Toolbox. This is free, by the way. It's another free web browser alternative. It may be blocking your job. It may not. So you may well be able to check that. They have MX lookup, domain, see if it's going on the domain. Like I could put here, um, I don't know, google.com. Uh, let's see what happens. And it tells you about it, right? It tells you right here. The IP address, uh, the different information. Uh, if, if everything is published, the DNS record is set up. It's free. So take advantage of it. And it has email health right over here. So you can check the health of an email address. Um, it has DNS lookup. You can look up DNS, DNS record. And you have analyze headers. So analyze headers, um, it basically allows you to analyze the header of an email that you have. So what I could do here is I could go to my email, right? And I could open up this one. See this one that says CES, time is running out. I'm like, man, this, this email looks a little weird. It might be, might be spam or something. Let me, let me analyze it and make sure that it's not spam. I don't want to click on anything, right? So I'm going to go file. I'm going to go to properties. And here it is, the internet headers, right? It wants the email header, the internet header. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy the whole thing. I'm going to right-click on it, copy, close out of that, close out of that, minimize that. And I'm going to do paste with the analyze header. Right. And it tells you information about it right here. Like it says DKIM authenticated. And you click on it, it tells you more information about it. Like it tells you that this there's something not right about this. But looking at the email, it seems legit. It's not a fake email. So this is not a fake email. So it tells you right there, like my my email address, um, the email of the company their IP address, the SMTP, and a bunch of other stuff. It's pretty cool. So give that a go. You may like it, you may not, but it's free. Take advantage of it, right? The next one is Google Admin Toolbox. Like, what the heck is that, Kevin? So this is another free one that you could use if your job allows it. You have, you could debug a browser, verify DNS uh, issue, 
analyze a HAR in log files. You could even record in here. So if I let me close out of that, if I close here and click on this, right? You do screen recorder. You do record. It gives you the option to record. And then right here, you could do a record. It tells you screen capture uses JavaScript to capture the audio and the screen in your browser. It doesn't send you a capture media to Google infrastructure or any other remote service. It's pretty cool. Go here, you have additional tools. Tells you about how to flush Google public DNS. You go here. Message header, you can put your header in here. Like that same one that I had before. I would copy and paste it here and analyze the header. And it will tell me about it. It'll tell me the message ID, uh, when it was created at, when it was delivered, um, the email address, my email address. Is it, a, is, it a, is it a safe domain address? Yes, it is. It's fine. It's okay. So this is this is a a, a real legit email address. Uh, it's a login analyzer right here. And it tells you a little bit more about it. Like, what does it do? Uh, it's another one right over here. Let me go to the second one. You can actually upload files here as well. And it tells you, like, more information about it. So this is something that I recommend you use. Like if you if you do have the ability to go into it, it's absolutely free. So take advantage of it. It's another free tool. Is dig. If you want to run dig, uh, if you want to run a check on a domain name, you can do it from here. Um, and that's it. And browser information is my information. Um, what what information about pretty much my my computer, my IP address, and all that good stuff. So. That's another alternative tool you could use. It's absolutely free. If your company allows it, give it a go. The last one, which people might be familiar with, right, is I got Pawn. Have I been Pawn? So basically, it tells you if your email address has ever been hacked. <laughs> That's what it is. So you could put your email address in here, and it will tell you if it got hacked. I have an old email address, like, talking about, like, from, like, the, like 1990 something. Let me see. Let me see what happens if I put it in here. So it's gonna be. Um, let's try. Uh, don't don't ask about this email address. It's a long story. It's supposed to be Brooklyn Bodyguard. Don't ask about. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, it's good. All right, no issues with it. It has not been attacked or breached. So that's an old email address, aim.com. Aim you know it's old when it's aim.com. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my email addresses. Um, so we have notify me if you want them to notify you about security vulnerabilities or people that have been hacked. Domain search, you can put a domain in here and just double check the domain. It tells you more about it right here. Uh, who's been pawned? Tells you more information over here, a breach that has happened. So this is like one of the, this is like one of the places you check. There have been like breaches and um, vulnerabilities in IT and stuff like that. Passwords. How safe is your password? <laughs> it's probably not as safe as you think it is. Uh, you have API and about and donate. And that's it, yeah. So you go here, right? Facebook. Tells you more information about Facebook. Look, all the people that people that have been hacked and stuff like that. It's interesting. Click on um, Duck Unlimited accounts. Tells you the same thing. Tells you information about each individual uh, application or website. Uh, LinkedIn. Look at LinkedIn right there. Targeted by attackers. Scrape data from hundreds of millions of public profiles and later sold them online. So. This is a, another free website. If your job allows it, you could use it absolutely for free. So give that a go. Um, and then that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different things you could use if your job allows it and if you need help with something, if that makes sense. All right. Let's stop sharing. That's pretty much it. Um, I want to go over more tools later on. 
probably next year. But these are some of the ones that I use in my job in the past. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Peace. Bye.